Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and do a January favorites video because I haven't done one a favorites video in a really really long time and I decided that this month would be perfect to do it because I've been loving and trying multiple different products so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay so first things first I did do something different with my hair. Um, I made the roots darker and then did more of like my old um, balayage type of thing. Um, I just feel more comfortable this way and um, I'm just I'm so excited about it. I'm in love with it. So um, going along with hair I cannot so ever since I got a perm I got a perm in seventh grade and ever since then I just have the hardest time brushing out my hair uh, when it's wet so I got the Enfarage replenishing leave-in conditioner and as you can see I'm almost out of it um, I love this stuff I have to go ahead and put some kind of moisturizing oil or lotion or serum on my hair at night just so that way I can brush it all out blow dry or go to bed with it which you should not do but I do sometimes Next thing that I've been loving is this Essie nail polish. Now, I have the hardest time painting my nails. That's why I always go get them done. But my toenails too. I have a hard time painting them and making it stay on. Even with base coats, top coats, multiple layers, like everything like that. I just can never get it to stay on and not chip. So I found this. This is the Essie Gel Couture Top Coat. This stuff makes any kind of nail polish look like it's a like you got it done at a salon and it's a gel gel nail polish like it looks so good and it lasts forever so I definitely recommend this I've gotten all the ladies at Ulta on this um, it's incredible and awesome and I'm just so happy I found this especially for summer on my toenails so and you can use it with any kind of polish too so love it then I normally don't go out and purchase fragrances a lot just because they're expensive and you know I never like something once I act um, but I recently bought the Vera Wang Princess Revolution and I love this stuff it smells so good it almost like it almost has like a berry scent to it and I just I love it I love fragrances like this that are fresh and girly but not too sweet um, but I love this stuff I've used so much of it as you can tell like it's almost down to the very bottom but I love this stuff and this along with my Juicy Couture Gold Couture perfume I think are my absolute favorites. Then I have another thing for hair. This is the Wella Root Shoot. Now normally I don't put really anything in my hair except for like the leave-in conditioner thing um, but lately I've been liking a lot more volume and a lot more style to my hair so what I've been doing is taking this Root Shoot by Wella and putting this on my roots. Uh, right before I blow dry my hair and it really helps make them look awesome first off but really helps with volume too so I love this stuff um, you can get it at Ulta and it's called the root shoe precise root mousse and it's awesome doesn't make your hair crunchy or look frizzy or anything like that um, I'm obsessed with it so go get some if you want volume and for this month I have two primers that I tried out that I adore one is the little rock Perfection mattifying face primer so if you are an oily girl definitely pick up this this helps so much I have it on today this is what I wore today um, and it just helps mattify everything without making you look too flat because um, I know a lot of mattifying primers or like sprays or anything like that can make you look really flat but I love this one it makes it look really velvety and smooth um, it's great controls oil it's oil free paraben free this is a small size but you can also get the large size and I'm obsessed with it I love it and then another one that I have that's more on the drugstore side is the Lorac or Lorac I was about to say Lorac again the L'Oreal Magic Lumi light infusing primer and this stuff is amazing I have heard Shannon so talk about it all the time here on YouTube but I recently tried it and I'm obsessed with it. It leaves such a nice glowy finish to the skin without making you overly oily or greasy or anything like that and you put it on right before your foundation and this is what I've been wearing for the majority of the month. Um, I just, I'm obsessed with it. I wear it with matte foundations, dewy foundations. Um, I love it and it really helps keep your makeup on too. Now as far as finishing sprays, normally I'm not really into that. I love the new All Nighter by Urban Decay. Um, I love their new primers too, don't get me wrong, those are awesome. Um, but at home, normally I use the NYX Dewy Finish and I really, really like this surprisingly. Now, when you spray it on, it's not necessarily as like dewy looking as like MAC Fix Plus or um, 
the hydrating one by Smashbox, but it's really nice, really holds your makeup on really well without making everything look flat again, like I said. Um, I just love it. it. It just looks really nice and gives kind of just a touch of glow to the skin. Now I know everybody is waiting for me to say this. This has been my favorite for like probably three months now. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in light. I adore this stuff. I use this stuff almost every single day with and without foundation. Sometimes I just put this on underneath my eyes and do the rest of my makeup and go about my day. Um, but I love this stuff. It's such a good consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin, not too watery, not too thin thick um but it's just it's great there's a ton of new shades i know they're always sold out at ulta but we get trucks in on friday night so if you want to know if your shade came in just call and let us know on saturday mornings and we can let you know but um i love this stuff i recommend this stuff to everybody it's awesome next is the perversion mascara by urban k now i have eyelash extensions i get them refilled all the time i love them they're so easy but I always do my bottom eyelashes as well and normally my eyelashes like I have long eyelashes like you can see they're long but I can't get products on them and I can't get it to stick and like wiggle in right without messing up all the rest of my makeup but this for some weird reason this brush I have found helps so much to grab onto little tiny eyelashes um, I love it it's volumizing it's lengthening it's thickening it's everything that I have always wanted in a mascara so if you want really good eyelashes that are separated but still thick and voluminous, definitely pick up this one. It's the per Perversion by Urban Decay and they also have a small size in the Grab and Goza Ulta. And then another kind of strange thing that I've discovered is I love this NYX Blotting Powder. Um, this one is in the shade Deep. So it's a kind of cooler tone. Um, matte brown shade but I have been using this for contouring now there's been plenty of days where I contour way too harshly and my face looks crazy but with this I that never happens because it's so light um, even the powder itself is just such a light consistency that you can really build it up and it also looks so airbrushing it's gonna make your pores kind of just seem seamless and not non-existent um, but I'm wearing it as contour today and I am obsessed with it. It leaves just such a nice natural shadow and it's great. And I was so surprised that I discovered it for contouring. The next thing that I have discovered this month is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liners. Now you can only get these at Ulta, they're exclusive to Ulta, but they are so good. I love this. It's almost kind of the consistency of the Urban K. Uh, 24 7 glide on eyeliners but I love this it stays on so well a lot of people don't really know about Smashbox and their liners but their liners are great they have one that's kind of like um, a twist up gel they have a liquid one that I always recommend their pot eyeliner is awesome and they have a lot of really great things but I love this one this is just the black one they have a ton of different colors the shade bubbly is also one of my favorites moody is a great one um, this one is in fishnet and it's just the blackest one and I love this especially for tight lining because it stays on doesn't smudge or anything like that so I love this and it's super black all right so as far as highlighters go I am just a highlighting freak lately what I've been doing is applying it all the way down and then brushing it down that way it just gives a nice hydrated look to the face and I tell a lot of girls at Ulta to do that too especially if they're on the more, more mature side of the age scale um, just because I don't like it when people come in and say oh I can't wear any shimmer I can't wear any highlight or anything like that I think it just brings so much light to the face and so much um, almost energy and it just looks so nice so natural so what I've been doing is uh, doing that technique on them and they really really enjoy it afterwards especially with a very subtle highlighter um, but this one is not subtle that's why it's one of my favorites this month um, it's the Anastasia ultimate glow kit and it looks like this as you can tell I have used a good amount of all of these especially this one um, I love these a lot the only issue that I have with these is they're kind of chunky um, with that being said they're still amazing they're still so glowy everything that I would ever want in a highlighter 
um, but just be aware they are kind of chunky you definitely want to use a less dense brush for them so like a fan brush or like uh, this brush by elf it's kind of fluffier um, just anything like that because it's gonna kind of destroy the product a little bit less <laughs> And then my last favorite, which is more of a lifestyle favorite, is this planner. I got this for Christmas, I think, or maybe my birthday from Patrick's mom. So thank you, Miss Christy, if you're watching this. Uh, but I have been, I've been using this thing a ton. I've had so many different things that have been going on and that will go on for this year. And I'm just um, trying to write as many things down as I can. Um, I'm getting into discipling and then I also have a dislike blur so I've been writing that down and appointments and all the things and all the trainings and all that kind of stuff and it's really gonna come in handy this month because dun, 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 I'm gonna be the full-time esthetician at Alta for Dermalogica which is one of my favorite brands you guys already know that so I'm just so incredibly excited and I'm excited to have an actual full-time job and I'm just, I'm so excited. So if anybody ever wants to make an appointment with me to get a facial or a microderm or um, skin mapping or anything like that, any waxing as well, let me know and we can, as soon as that starts like getting along, after Wednesday I'm sure it'll be like fully set, but as soon as I get it going along, if you guys want to make an appointment with me, that'd be awesome and I can leave all of that information down below and I'll also leave um, like how to contact me and stuff like that if you want to do it and you're in the Austin-ish area so let me know um but yeah I think that's all for today thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if there's anything else that you would want to see from me this look I'm going to do tomorrow um it's a nice Valentine's Day look it's a little bit harder and more challenging than my last one but I really like it it's using the modern renaissance palette um so yeah just let me know what else you guys want to see and I will talk to you guys later bye Thank you.